Hey y'all, it's Yvette and I am here to talk about what's going on in my life in this coming week. I'm so excited! Um, it is Quilt Market starting on Friday. Um, the actual Quilt Market I think is like Saturday, Sunday. Um, but on Friday we have uh, what they call Schoolhouse and Sample Spree and those two things everyone is always super excited about. Now, this is just my opinion. I'm going to like, I'm going to just gloss over it real quick. But um, to me, the sample spree has always been really great. I always really enjoy it a lot. But last year, for some reason, I didn't enjoy Schoolhouse as much as I used to before the pandemic. And so um, I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe it was just, um, you know, us kind of getting back in the swing of things or I'm not really sure what it was, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm having high hopes for this year that it's gonna go back to its original glory. And um, so a few things that I'm excited about. The first thing, well, of course, schoolhouse and sample spree the both of them um the the problem my biggest problem with schoolhouse is that you will get um you'll get the cat the i'm calling it a calendar it's calendar and basically there's like all these rooms right and every like 20 minutes or 25 minutes something like that there's a new schoolhouse starting in each room Okay, and so you have to decide which one you want to go to. And you can only go to one per session. And if there are like, like for me, a lot of times there will be like four or five of them that I want to go to. So then you have to decide. And you got to decide quick. Like you got you to gotta be like, okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. And between each one you've got five minutes to run over there and and get into the next schoolhouse and so or each session I guess we call them um and so I am hoping I'm like oh my goodness because we got the schedule for Andover I want to go to almost every single Andover session well obviously I can't go to every single Andover because if I go to every single Andover then I can't go to others right um now andover is super special to me because they have alice and glass and juicy juice and um so i'm very excited and um can't wait to go and um and and see one of those now there's there's um a session with juicy juice and then there's a session with juicy juice and alice and glass and then there's a session with just alice and glass so i guess I might have to just go, okay, I'm going to go to Alice and Glass Juicy Juice together. But I'm probably not the only one who thinks that. So, I don't know. Okay, so I already know about that. But as far as I know, no one else has given, like, what their schedules are, their session schedules are. So, I'm not really sure which ones other than that I'm going to go to. So, maybe what I'll do, if I remember, you know what, the thing is... Here, here's what happens with me is, you know how like people will say, oh, you know, I just want to live in the moment. I don't want to take like a bunch of pictures and, and uh, you know, then go back and, and look at the pictures. I want to like live in that moment. That's what I do. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. I, there are some times when I, it actually pops in my mind that I go, oh, I should record this or I should take a picture or, you know, whatever. Sometimes that does happen to me, but a lot of times I am just living in that moment. And so, um, that's not all just talk for me. I, I tend to forget to take pictures and make videos. So that's why you probably see a whole lot more of other people doing, uh, stuff, living life, whatever. Um, in their videos and not so much for me. You'll have something like this where I'll sit down and I'll talk about it, but this is at a downtime for me, right? So like if I'm smack in the middle of something, a lot of times it just doesn't even cross my mind. I know that's terrible. I mean, here I am on YouTube. You'd think that I just constantly record myself, but I don't. 
So <laughs> there's schoolhouse. I'm excited about that. Then I'm super excited about sample spree. Sample spree is so much fun. Um, another thing that I'm, and I'm just, first I'm going to talk about just the actual activities. Okay. So the next thing is, um, I was given an invitation to, and I'm sure, believe me, I am far from in the minority. I'm sure lots of people, like if you, if you are a customer of Free Spirit, then you probably got this invitation to come to a, I, I'm calling it a soiree. They're calling it uh, like a happy hour cocktail party type thing that Free Spirit is having to honor Tula Pink for her 50th collection. And so I'm going to attend, you guys. It's Saturday night. I'm so excited. Um, but I'm going to go and I'm going to do that. And then on Sunday, I was invited to go um, and have dinner at a friend's house. And um, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to go because I would have to Uber there and it's an hour from where Quilt Market is and that's just too expensive for me. And to rent a car for like that one day, I just, I don't, I don't know. Plus it's an hour drive. So I'd have to drive an hour there, drive an hour back. And um, <laughs> hello, Jelly Bean. Um, you guys haven't seen J JB, look buddy. Anyway, um, so it's Elizabeth who is uh, who has invited me, and because I am an alumni from her first um, pattern writing class, I was invited. So, um, and so it's it's Elizabeth Chappelle. Sorry, I'm sitting here talking like you guys know who I'm talking about. Elizabeth Chappelle, and Elizabeth now. Um, not only has her membership and teaches people how to write quilting patterns, um, but she also has um, a couple of, is it two or three now, fabric collections with art gallery fabrics. And so I'm, I would love, love, love to go, but I just don't think it's feasible, unfortunately. So um, I don't know. I mean, I might change my mind. You never know. You know, maybe I'll decide I want to do it. But, you know, it it's like, there's so little time. I mean, you think that there's plenty of time, but there's so little time. Like the whole thing is over in a heartbeat. And um, I want to have lunch or dinner or something with Kim Moose. I want to have lunch or dinner or something with, um, oh my gosh, so many people, so many people. Um, Julie, an intrepid thread. I, I did send her a message and we're planning on getting together at some point. I just have no idea right now when we're going to do that. Um, but I am very, very excited about Quilt Market. Um, so I will report back after for sure. And I'll try to make some videos and, um, you know, take some pictures and share it with you guys. And hopefully you can enjoy um, looking at the things that I'm doing and I don't know who else I'm going to see. I'm excited though. I'm, I, I'm excited every time I'm going to quilt market. So, um, I know that I had been talking to you guys about the fact that I needed to get another job outside the home, not another job, but a job outside the home, um, because I wasn't working at above and beyond sewing anymore. And, I got a job. I was given an offer last week and um, I took the job. It is a Monday through Thursday from eight to four. And yeah, so I started a couple days ago and, or no, yesterday. Started, yesterday was Monday, right? <laughs> How would you know you're watching this video in the future? Anyways, yes, yesterday was Monday. I started yesterday. So I worked yesterday and today, and I really like the people I'm working with. Um, we even have a puppy that comes to work every day. His name's Teddy. He's adorable. Um, if I get a picture of Teddy, I'll I'll share it with you guys at some point. But it's really exciting. And I told the the girl there who <laughs> Teddy's mom I was like maybe I can bring jelly bean I can bring jelly bean to work and she was like yeah we'll have like a whole pet 
menagerie here. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so anyway, I don't think Jelly Bean would want to come. I'll be honest with you. I think he'd be like, uh, no thanks, mom. I think I'm going to just stay here. <laughs> But the option is there, I guess, if I wanted to bring a uh, jelly bean or somebody with me to work. But um, I'm just, I'm doing bookkeeping and um, that's it. That's all I'm doing. And so it's, I'm kind of going back to what I always did before. And, oh, I will say that while I'm at Quilt Market, I'm going to attempt to find some smaller projects that I can kit up because I've been doing some kits for quilts. Uh, in fact, if you go into my um, shop, theyvetrenee.com, then and type in kits in the search, you'll see the kits that I have available. But one thing that um, was told to me in the little survey that I took was that people were really wanting some smaller kits. So I'm going to see what I can find while I'm at Quilt Market and see what kind of patterns I can kit up. And I think that's a great idea to kit up smaller um, projects because it, it, I know I personally like having smaller projects now and again, something that I can finish fairly quickly and feel accomplished. So yeah, I think I'm going to be looking for something like that. And um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say right now. So I will close for now. And hopefully you guys will have a very lovely weekend. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Mwah.